When I walked into the cafeteria, Janice Carpenter said real loud, Red and yellow don't go together, bird. I looked down at my red sweater and my yellow shirt, and I knew she was right. They looked ugly together. Shoot, I thought. They had looked good this morning when I put them on, but now they didn't. I pretended like I didn't see those girls poking each other and carrying on. I got my tray and sat way down at the empty end of the table. All around me, kids were smooshing their mashed potatoes flat and flicking their peas. I felt a pea hit me, but I pretended like I didn't notice. And then I saw Harlem. He was easy to spot, because he towered over everybody else. His hair was long, hanging down the back of his neck and covering up his ears. He stood there all hunched over, with his arms dangling clear to his knees. He had a crumpled up grocery bag in one hand and two cartons of milk in the other. I waved my arms. Hey, Harlem, over here. He glared in my direction. Some boy shoved him towards my table and then ran off. I patted the bench beside me. Sit here, I said. He sat at the table behind me. I turned around and put my blueberry muffin in front of him. He acted like he didn't even see it. I kept looking over my shoulder while I ate, keeping an eye on Harlem. I couldn't hardly believe it when he reached in his bag and took out a soggy-looking sandwich wrapped in a page from a magazine. Just whip that magazine-wrapped sandwich out in front of everybody, like it was normal as anything. Naturally, when the boys at his table got a load of that, they were all laughing and poking and saying how Harlem sure was stupid and maybe he could get some brains tattooed on his head at the tattoo parlor. Stuff like that. When Harlem glared their way, they hushed up fast.